Welcome to Mercy's Little Show. My name is Mercy, and this is my little show. Today I will be reviewing um, Spawn 250 from Image. Um, it's written by Tom McFarlane, and the art is by Simon Kudransky. Um, I will put a picture right here so you can read it. So. The reason why I bought this book is because I read an interview with Todd McFarlane um, talking about how this is really good jumping on point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, the interviewer asked him, you know, why doesn't he start back at number one? Well, he said that he doesn't feel the need to renumber them, and because the history is still there, it's just a continue of a story. So I really respect him for it, and I wanted to show my support. So. So I had to see if it was a really good jumping on point. The story begins um, telling you what's been going on. And what I think is brilliant is that they use the newscasting um, to tell you what's going on. The first part of the story is all exposition. Um, but the way that it is done, it feels natural. By the time that we meet up with our main character, Spawn, um, you're pretty much caught up with what's going on. The spawn in this book um, is not the spawn that I know. Um, the spawn that I know is from the movies. So, but the um, the spawn in, in the book, his name is Jim Downing. This book does a really good job explaining everything to you, but the only thing that it doesn't s explain more about is Jim Downing. But you know, it works because to most of the characters, he's a mystery. Even though I don't know much about him, the way that this book is written made you care for him. Throughout the whole book, um, Jim Downing was battling the Spawn costume. Um, you know, I was so engaged in it, like I felt like I was in the story and I really felt for him. The last thing that I want to do is give spoilers, but I, I will let you know that um, there are a couple things that happen at the end that when I read it, I got emotional. Over the last year or so of me um, reading comics and learning more about comics, I've heard a lot of people say that Todd McFarlane isn't a good writer. Now I can only base it off of this book only, but me personally, I, you know, don't agree because this book is really great. It sounds stupid every time I say it, but I don't like wordy books. In the beginning of this, it was really wordy, but I didn't care. I was so interested with what was going on. This book had me captivated from the beginning to the end. The art really fit this book. Um, part of me wishes that Todd McFarlane, you know, would have done the art, because I've seen some of his old, like the old, older stuff. Um, but it was really great. Um, you know, some of the the background in here like had a lot of detail. But you know, it was really great. The story was great. Um, the art was pretty dang good. The price was five ninety nine, but I think it was worth it. This is the original Spawn, as you can see, and then this one is the Spawn. super thick. I think that it's probably a little bit thicker than the Spawn and Batman one. I don't know if you guys can see. Pretty close. Not only is this a, um, a thick book, but the story, you know, begins, you know, right behind the cover. Um, it goes all the way, you know, all the way to the back, except for like two pages. And those two pages are like, you know, fan art and then people who are talking about Spawn. When I bought this book, I never thought whether or not I would pick up the next issue. I, but I just like the idea of not renumbering it. But after reading it, I look forward to the next issue. If you're interested in reading Spawn, 
or if, you know you've read them back in the day <clears throat> excuse me and dropped them and then thought about picking them back up I recommend this you know I really enjoyed it if you guys did like this video please give a like up and subscribe you can also follow me on Twitter at Mercy's Little Show no W I love you guys I really do